All right. So let's take a look at some of uh, some of the Evo nonsense going on. Um, this is what is this? Winners semifinals or losers semifinals? I forget. But uh, this is at the Evo that just happened. Evo 2019. Sig versus Jordy. Uh, very good game. Uh, from what I remember, we're just gonna let it rock and see how it goes. Um, maybe spend a little bit of time talking about it. I kind of want to watch all the tournament at once, but I'm also like super excited to uh, get down to the meat of it and kind of talk about things, you know, what we've learned from it. And so, um, with that being said, I think this was a really good match to watch. Uh, when I was, you know, there, this was one of the ones that really stuck out to me. Uh, so this is going to be a complete, you know, uh, dry run here. So we will see uh, what there is to talk about. I will totally upload this because this is kind of, uh, I feel, a good way to get the feel of, like, what I see when I watch a match, right? So hopefully this is useful to somebody. Uh, at the very least, it's more content and more stuff to talk about. So uh, let's get right into it. All right, so right off the bat here, we got, um, so what this is going to mean, right, is that player two, they're going to do this kind of push thing, right, and then this pull thing, and they're going to bring this whole tower down, and um, what that means is uh, this is the no bomb, right, it's a safer opening, player one here is going to get the positional advantage, they're going to be really high up but they are not going to be as likely to spawn items which that's big on the console especially because uh x factor is such a huge um bonus as well as that's going to put them in a pretty good state to kind of defend uh because i don't think many people do this but when the one when the opponent does a one bomb i'd be interested to see like they really only have these couple of blocks to climb so I would be interested in seeing uh, somebody actually trying to play defense off of somebody's one bomb. So we'll see what I'm talking about a little bit here, right? Bada boom, bada bing. Two players a little bit lower. Already we're starting to see some items come up. Uh, is there a way I can increase the quality here? Quality is 720. Really? Wow. Um, okay. You see what I mean? Like right here could somebody play defense i think so i mean you've got bomb blocks are going to be detonated on the left side whichever player goes you know fast um and i think it would be very feasible for a player one to kind of play some sidle defense here and really screw over a player two so that would be something uh going forward that would be what i was i would be interested in is somebody uh instead of if so, the counter to the one bomb being okay play sidle defense uh, so player two games, player two's game at this point is going to be farm for items and play the catch up, right? And and really they're not that far behind. You're only going to be like a, a level or two. Um, but sometimes it's all it takes. Ah, you see, there's that X. Player two is ahead. Now one thing I would be interested in here, this is going to be super chaotic because you've got two bombs here, and when bombs blow up, they blow up other bombs, right? So. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. These five blocks are going to be gone completely, which means that the only stable area really is going to be this thing. But even this isn't too good because once this bomb block goes, it's going to be just this column. So that is one thing to keep in mind. The other thing I would like to just point out about this, this shape here, this, uh, this tiger's mouth, as I'll call it, right? One, two, three. Um... This is actually a pretty decent climbing structure. All you have to do is pull this block, and these guys fall, and it actually makes you one, two, and there you're up. So that is another thing to keep in mind if you ever find yourself in this position. It might be possible to go and pull, right? Because as is, this is going to be really messy. I mean, player one has the block, so it, they can create stability. But player two has the juice, so they're going to have the speed. So that's an interesting trade-off. Um, I think, honestly, 
uh, and the other thing too, if you if you were to go for this pool, uh, you could threaten actually if player two tries to take it to push this block out, right? Like you kind of can guard that. So that's kind of neat. Um, what else? What else? If you're player two, probably what you want to do is you got to be super careful around here because, I mean, you've got this whole thing is going to blow and this thing's going to get out of there. So I don't know. If you're player two, I guess uh, try to hang on the right and prepare to climb would be my guess. So let's see what happens. All right. We got, oh, oh, this is all caught on this guy. I see. Gotcha. Okay, so that, again, this side's the more stable side. Ooh, ooh, he went through. Okay, so that was like a... Because player one was tossing, I guess, right? He didn't have... All right, yep, yep. Right, so player one was tossing, so his hitbox wasn't there. So player two was able to climb through him, and then he just walked on sunshine. And, I mean, he tried to go for the dropkick, but that didn't really work out. Uh, yep, that's what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. This is really tough for if you are blue, um, because there's nothing you can do. And that's always the toughest. So that's actually hella sick. So let's see. Uh, I think Jordy always tries to do the one bomb, so it's probably going to be kind of a repeat situation at the start where, you know, player two is going to be lower. Um, I don't think many people really tried for the push out on this stage. Uh, in the tournament, it can be a little risky, so I understand. Yeah, again, same exact opening. Um, so we will see. Okay. Blue actually gives orange the way up. Uh, oh, and gives orange the X. That is... Uh, that's going to be tough. If you are blue, actually, what I would like to see blue do is set up to start pushing at the stage. So if I were blue, I would have probably uh, pushed this block this way, climb up, do a pull, and a push, and a push again. Push out this column, push out this column, um, and then start stepping on stuff. Or, if you really want to, um, what also might work out, because... Orange is about to pop this X, which means you kind of want to get as close to them as possible when they pop. Um, you should either start your push out here or here. And this might work out a little bit better because if you do some pulls on these blocks, or actually even, uh, that sets up kind of nice for some pushes. I mean, you can do one, two, um, three, uh, this gets a little bit tricky because of this thing here, right? This is going to catch, so you have to do an additional push. Um, but what I'm what I'm mainly trying to look at are these bomb blocks. These guys make your make your work a lot easier because all you have to do is step on them. You don't actually have to push them out, right? So it's a little bit faster. You get them all at once. Um, something to keep in mind. That would be my idea if I was blue. Is is probably get up as close as you can, don't let orange break too far away, and then try for a push out. Because there it is. Uh-huh. This is, this is tough. Oh, he accidentally screwed up a little bit. He, right now it's just a fight for how close you can stay, but it's not, not going to work. Uh, clock was a blow up uh, in more ways than one. That's the way it goes. Oh, was that the end? Oh, the set wasn't being updated. Ah, uh, dang. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go back a couple. So, um, neat thing to note, right, is last year, I think, uh, we saw the same top three. It was me, Jordy, or me, Sig, Jordy. Um... So that was cool. I think the only thing that was different really was that I, uh, Jordy, I think last year I went 3 1 against Jordy. This year I went 3 2. And, um, Sig, I went 3 1 last year. And this year I went 3 0 in Grants. So that's a little bit of fun while, uh, alright. Let me just. Let me just find where this match starts. 
Dang, this is a long set. Oh, this is three out of five, isn't it? It's got to be, right? Okay, okay. So first game... Okay, first game is quad. Alright, let's talk about quad. Ice is nice, baby. Let's go. Okay. Uh, Sig, it looks like he's going to threaten a push out here. And Jordy just is going to try to keep climbing. Um, push out is tough because I feel like it really puts you on the back foot. Oh, he didn't actually fully commit to the push there. If I was Jordy, I, you might have been okay in continuing. The only thing Blue can do here is threaten like a climb cancel. Um, actually, the solution here, uh, maybe not. <laughs> so what I was thinking, actually, that, that would work out really well, is if you are blue, right? So there's a thing about Catherine Classic. There's always a thing where coming out of a climb you get, I like to think of it as you get a free action. You can you can always do something if you buffer it, right? Uh, and so usually what that is, is you can climb and you can pull, right? And they, they can't beat that. Um, so what I would be interested in is using that here, right? And going, okay, let me climb this block and then pull this one. Maybe I can get to the next frame. Where, right, here. Uh, this is a little bit easier to see. So I would be interested, if you are in a situation like this, you go up and you can guaranteed pull or push this. You can do that for free. Um, and that would be interesting for a couple reasons. Uh, let's kind of play that out a little bit. So if you were to push, you could follow that with a dodge. Right, you can push this, and orange is going to be holding right. So then you buffer right, and you dodge them. They follow you. You might actually. I don't. Mm, that's kind of tough. I don't know if you would be able to climb on top of this, turn around, get a drop kick when they follow you. I don't know if they would hit you here. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, but there would be some kind of fight that happens on this level, and that would be kind of tricky because. That might not be too bad for you. It's going to be scary because of this block, but the actual winning move is going to be, after you push this, right, is going to be this tower is all held up by this block. So the winning position is actually going to be whoever can control over here on the left of this island, right? Because whoever controls on the left can do a push on this, and then this guy drops, and then there you go. That's, that's money right there. So that is something to keep in mind. So that's one. That is that is what I see if the person climbs and pushes. So to to kind of recap, right? In this position, you can either bait out the pin by climb canceling. Okay. Um, super risky because you're on the last level. You can climb and push, right? Which kind of some interesting ha things happen because of this block here threatens a whole lot. Um, there's some weird timing things that can happen because of these ice blocks here. Uh, but the main thing that I would keep my eye on is this left side controlling, um, the rest of the tower. Okay. The third option is climb, pull, right? Now this is super scary, uh, initially, I, th I think. Because when you pull this block, you're going to create a, a double Anakin on yourself right you're going to be sidling and there's going to be the only two open spots being here uh i mean they could just sit there and and they're fine right maybe you could spider around and climb is there a way i can make this not as uh thick it doesn't look like it i'm just trying to make a smaller little uh dots here anyway nope um you could pull this and you would be spidering around. You might be able to spider around the side of the block and climb and pull, maybe in time. Uh, it's it's tough to say. Mm. 
and then that would open you up and that would actually give you like a double position here uh, I don't know uh, or you could uh, you could pull this and then you could actually push out down here and push this to the left and run over to the left side and kind of survive for a little bit longer now that becomes a little bit tricky for you because of this dark block here um, makes it where you don't have too much that you can work with you know you can do like a double pull on these two blocks and kind of make a bridge back over to this side but I don't know so again um, this was actually a really interesting uh, pattern that came out but to kind of recap you there can go for the pin as blue right if you're blue you can either go for the pin you can um, you can climb and you can push or you can climb and you can pull uh, if you are orange I mean you pretty much you, you have to just stay in that spot that you are currently in I think that is the only thing that uh, a reasonable human being would do and um, yeah orange takes it okay both going for the outside so we're going to see a fight on this level here. Usually the person who pulls first loses that first round. And then lets the other guy play some kind of spider defense here. It's really these these first three that are kind of uh, key, crucial on quadrangle. Uh, this is not looking good if you are orange. Um, I don't know what he can do. Even at this point, I uh, it's, it's very tough. This is already a uh, paradise. What you gotta do is you have to pull this and, and staircase, right? You can one, two, and then pull three. Uh, this kind of thing isn't gonna work. It's too slow. This is uh, not looking good, right? All right, we're at the top and, oh, blue kind of messed up. They didn't need to pull that, but that's all right. Um, oh, with the disrespect, put his name on it. Okay, get the. I, I like to do that. Get the early pillow hit. It um, kind of forces the interaction that would happen on the second or third levels to happen on the first. Um, to me, I mean, uh, what I really like is the potential pin in their own house. Is what I like to call it, um, because if you get a if you are on this block and they come here and you get a drop kick, you actually follow up. You Geronimo on top of them. You pull this, and then you have you you watch them, and and that's a guaranteed win, um, which is a crazy combo. But I, I love it. I think that's really cool. Um, okay, cool. So we're gonna see blue climb for a little bit. Try to play a little bit of spider defense. Yep, 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 yep. And, uh, oh, Paradise for Blue. Oh, oh, he was quick enough to kind of catch it. If I was Blue, honestly, at this point, I would climb. Let's see what he does. He tries to play for the Paradise. Uh, to me, I like to play just a little bit safer. Um, and so I will take my one ahead is kind of how I see it, right? Like, if you and your opponent are both pushing and pulling you had the one ahead as in the sense of you had the block ready to go where you could climb your opponent still needed to push in order to even reconnect to this side um so to me blue was like one ahead and kind of tried to push for a paradise paradises are nice but i don't think they should be um i don't think they can be your objective they, they're, they're just something that can be nice if it happens Ah, uh, this is tough for blue. Um, we went back to quad, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, oh, here we go. Blue gets the catch up. Oh, oh the, the tower didn't fall nice. Uh, this is kind of a tricky orange. Oh, orange gave it to blue. Yep. Yeah, orange got a little bit greedy on the solve. Um and really pushed for it. What he probably... What he probably should have done is once he sees that blue has to drop, 
in my mind, what I see is, um, is to pull this block to here and play spider defense, right? Because there's not a really good way for blue to climb. Blue can either push this, right, which makes a possible pin situation there, or they can um, step down and pull this over and then climb up. Uh, either of those options, though, kind of works out for orange um, because what orange has to kind of notice here is that um, uh, there's no room here right they can't do anything with this so this ending actually kind of has to be like a push kind of ending it can't they can't try to play the the pooling game uh, it, it, it's not a neat it's not a nice solve um, But instead, they try to do this pull here, and the pull is just a little bit slower. It gives up a little bit of control. It gives up the control over here, and um, that's going to be what causes it. Now, if they really want to be slick, if they really want to be slick, what they got to do, if you really want to be slick, is stay here. Stay, right? Pretend this block is still there. Stay, and when blue gets up here, drop kick cancel go here push left and then when blue tries to get up again push right and get the crush kill <laughs> that'd be the slickest thing in, in the world right but that'd be cool uh and and could work i don't know all right let's see it. so blue's back in the game a little flub at the start that's all right we uh we take those Right, we're gonna play a little bit of this game of leapfrog here. So here's a neat solve. Um, you almost have that tiger mouth position that I was talking about earlier. You got one, two, three. All right. If you uh, pretty much this side is kind of decent because at the end of the day, all you really need to do is um, you just need to push out this guy and then this guy, right? doesn't matter the order really and then these guys drop right and because you have this block it actually kind of sets up nice it does kind of potentially put you in a paradise but that's okay it's a fake paradise it's a uh, purgatory um anyway so we'll see orange has the high ground here okay they're gonna take the take the advantage the early climb uh oh oh dirty dirty so that's something that, right, you can, if you link off of a pillow hit, you can actually get stuff like that, where you can move off of the block before uh, the opponent can grab it, can move into the space to grab it. And that's kind of what I like, because that's, that's like, uh, technical. That's, you know, that's, I mean, that's not an easy window to link. I don't know what it is, but it's certainly, it doesn't happen all the time. Uh, blue here has an interesting... If I was orange, uh, I, I don't know if he would have had time for it. But I would have liked, at this point, climb over top and push left and create a fake paradise. I don't know if it would really do anything. I mean, blue can just push right and then climb just like normal. Um, so maybe that's not a good idea. What What is a good idea? Oh, you know what a, you know what a good idea is, though? A good idea is this. Uh, I don't think anybody sees it because nobody really goes in. Good idea is to go inside and push left and push right, all right? And then this block drops. Uh, it does force you to stand on top of this block. You'll catch because, you know, now this block is here. Um, and so the end position would look something like there's a block here, a block here, these blocks, um, and then this block, right? And so you are here and you go one, two, and then you climb. Um, it gets a little bit scary because blue could push this block out. Um, but I think that ultimately hurts them a little bit more than it hurts you because it sets up a nice potential for, okay, now you're standing on this block, right? And there's nothing they can do about it. So I think that's one solution. Um, and that's the one that I like. So we'll see how it plays out from here. Of course, you can uh, just absolutely do what Orange is doing and kind of hold it. Um, and that's this is going to be Orange's game. 
Unless he messes up severely. Oh, he messed up severely. Oh, blue. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> what happened? Alright, alright. Just, where are you even beginning to talk about this? Um. I mean, if you're orange, you can't, you can't do that. All right. Uh, <laughs> you know what the move is if you're orange, actually, though? Because this would be so godlike. The move if you're orange. Yep, yep, yep. The move if you're orange is, uh, push this. <laughs> because if you push this, blue has only the, this right to work with but they can't do anything with that they can't climb this is connected on the left the left is where they have to go they have to do some tricky like finagling with spidering around they have to pull and then they have to recreate this bridge right but if you are orange actually orange is in the favored position right now you gotta do a push here and then you actually can drop and have control over their whole tower right then you can start doing some pushes with this stuff and you'll be able to get that off before they can recreate a, a structure to get over. So at this point in the game, in my mind, the win condition has changed. It's no longer climb the tower, it's stop the other guy from climbing the tower. Um, because this solution on the left is actually uh, super easy. Um, the solution is you step, you know, you go down, you go up here, you push this guy to the left. I can't, I actually can't tell because of the quality if there is a block there or not. Uh, it doesn't super matter um, because essentially what you're going to do is you're going to be taking advantage of that tiger's mouth position that I was talking about before. Uh, the only difference if there is no block there is that you want to bring this block and move it here. Uh, then you climb here and then you push this to the left. You push this to the right, I think. Uh, and then this drops and there's your way up. So that's, that's four pushes, right? Meanwhile, blue has to spider. They have to pull. They have to spider again. Then they have to... Uh, that actually might be kind of close. Uh, then they have to push. Yeah, that might be kind of close. Um, so maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but it's uh, something to think about. I think regardless, everybody can agree that that is not the that is not the solution right there. Maybe all right. Maybe they could have linked it and got in the way and and done something, but nah. And then I think after this is clock tower, so I think it's over, right? We've already talked about that. Unless I'm mistaken. Make sure. Yeah, we already talked about this. So that is uh, Jordy versus Sig in Catherine semifinals at Evo 2019. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was kind of more raw. I didn't have a script. I didn't, uh, this was my first viewing of this match actually. And so, um, hopefully somebody enjoyed it. I don't know. Um, I just was kind of bored and wanted to do something. So there it was. Thanks for watching. Bye.